Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Responsibility. I'd like to welcome everyone here to this service this morning. In the precious name of Jesus, I believe the Lord has brought us here for good. Being the day the Lord has made, we are rejoicing and we are glad. And we shall not return back the same way we came. In Jesus' name. Responsibility for divine wisdom. Part 2. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 7. It says, wisdom is a principal thing. Therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. Our objective this morning is to understand the responsibility to accept in order to access divine wisdom. Wisdom is a principal thing. Wisdom is the most fundamental thing for life. Wisdom is behind the making of principal people. We know that this, the, the brain, the mind, is the center for physical wisdom. If you look at it physically, a person can do without a hand. We have seen people that, God forbid, they had a challenge, the hand was caught, or the leg was caught. But you have never seen anybody where they say the head was caught. What happened? He lost the head. And how is he doing? Is, is that a question to ask? No. There's no way he is doing. The loss of his head is the loss of his life. You have heard of liver transplant, kidney transplant, heart transplant. You will never hear of head transplant. That's telling you the central part of wisdom. When a man loses his mind, he has lost his life. It's not, he can't employ, he can't be employed. It's not employable. I don't know if they have started counting mad people during census. It's not countable. Can't contest election. That is, the, wisdom is the principal thing. That is talking even of the physical mind now. Therefore, get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine. And the boldness of his face shall be changed. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 1. So, wisdom causes us to stand out in life. Be, that, be not thou over much foolish. Why should you die before your time? Ecclesiastes 7, 17. So it's easy to die before time without wisdom. Wisdom is profitable to direct. Ecclesiastes chapter 10, I believe in verse 10. So it is, if life will be profitable, it requires wisdom. The absence of wisdom is the abundance of losses. The loss, the loss of opportunities. All manner of losses in life. So, wisdom. That is why it's important for us to understand what responsibility we must accept to walk in wisdom. Now, we said four things by way of introduction. In the first service that God is a custodian and giver of wisdom. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God who giveth to all. God is the giver, the custodian and the giver of wisdom. Second, we say that God gives wisdom to those who will meet the demands of wisdom. He gives that to those who will meet the demands of wisdom. And thirdly, we say that for everything desired, 
There is something required. Everything desired. Everything desired. If, it, if there is something desired, there is something required. And then we said that for every possibility with God, there is a responsibility for man. If it is a possibility with God, there is a responsibility for man. Adding to that is every provision from God is tied to conditions for man. If God will provide, man must meet the conditions. For every provision, every provision from God is tied to conditions for man. And this is important. Every desired effect is tied to required effort. If an effect is desired, an effort is required. God will part the Red Sea, but Moses must stretch the rod. The water must turn to wine, but the pot must be filled with water. outcomes are the products of impute. For anywhere you see an outcome that is exciting, there is impute that is demanding. For everything that will be rewarded, rewarding, there is something that is demanded. This journey of wisdom into the school of wisdom what are the demands what are the responsibilities for man i'll start with the first service number one recognize your need for divine wisdom if any man lack wisdom supply is on the basis of need and demand recognize your need Recognize that if you were wiser, you would have risen higher. Recognize that if you were wiser, your life would have been more peaceful. Just recognize the need. There is something I need to know I don't know. Recognize that if you know what to do, Jesus himself knew what to do in John chapter 6 verse 6. If you know what to do, you would have left where you are. Just recognize that. Recognize your need for wisdom. We dealt with that extensively in the first service. Number two, ask God for wisdom. Answers are the product of askings. We'll deal, deal with that shortly. Ask God. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask. Unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask. Ask God for wisdom. Asking for wisdom. I, I said in the first service, asking for wisdom is superior to asking for money. Is superior to asking for fame. Is superior to asking for honor. When Solomon asked God for wisdom, God gave him things that money couldn't buy. He said, since you have asked for wisdom, inside this wisdom is contained the riches that you would have asked for. Is contained the long life. The life of your is all inside it. Ask. Number three, separate yourself for wisdom. True desire. A man having separated himself intermeddled with all wisdom. Proverbs 18 verse 1. You separate yourself. There is a time where you, you just go indoors. Lord, I am looking for 
looking for this and that. You separate yourself unto wisdom. And number four, maintain the art of observation for wisdom. Solomon said, I went by the field of the slothful. The field of the man that is void of understanding. It was broken down, the walls thereof. Nettles had filled everywhere, thorns. I observed and I saw and I was instructed. I went by the field of the slothful. Start from the, from the, from the, from the study. And, and by the vineyard of the man void of understanding. Lo, it was all grown over with thorns. Nettles had covered the face thereof. The stone wall thereof was broken down. Then I saw, I considered it well. I looked upon it. I received instruction. That a, and what is the instruction? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come as one that traveleth and your want as an armed man. I saw and I received instruction. Observation connects instruction. The purpose of observation is instruction. The eye is the gate, is a gate of learning. Challenges that many see, but many look, but many see nothing. How many of you, you have ever Past somebody you never saw him until he called your name, John. Yeah, you are not seeing me. Oh, sorry, I was engrossed. There are many things that we looked at, but we never saw anything. We looked at it, we never saw anything. We were listening, but we heard nothing. So it's very important. I carry pen, I carry paper most times and ready to pen down instructions at the slightest observation. When I sit in our Father and the Lord Bishop David the Unipost meetings, from the things I see and hear, even things that were not said, I'm writing down the message, but I'll just start something action. Things I'm seeing and hearing. At times I'll leave a meeting with 20 something actions. Based on what I saw and heard. Somebody say amen. I'm not going to preach that first service message afresh. But ensure you pick up the message. Or go to the YouTube and you look at it. So those are the four we dealt with in the first service. We are going to proceed to four other keys. To divine wisdom and that is number one for this service which is overall number five is possess a quest first or desire for wisdom possess a quest a thirst a desire for wisdom possess a quest possess a thirst James chapter 1 verse 5 he said if any of you lack wisdom let him ask that give it God that, that give it to all men liberally so there, there should be a, a quest, a thirst, a yearning Proverbs chapter 2 verse 1 all the way to verse 3 my son if thou will receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that, thine, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thy heart unto understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and lifted up thy voice for understanding, go forward. If your heart is yearning for the wisdom of God like silver and you search for her as for hid treasures, 
You know the way people look for money and yearn for money and desire for gold. He said you must come to the point where you desire the wisdom of God. And what is that? You desire the counsel of God. You desire the mindset of God. The mind of God. The thought process of God. God's ways of doing things. If you desire it like people desire money, then you can find it. Hear these two things. What is not desired cannot be delivered. Second, what is not desired cannot be discovered. We need the fire of desire to take delivery of the things that we need in life. The fire of desire. What is not desired cannot be delivered. And what is not desired cannot be discovered. While I was in the university, I told God, I said, all I want is all that you have in store for my life. I'm not looking for what anybody on earth is looking for. I'm, I'm looking for what you want me to have. What, all that you have in mind for me to be coming, to do for you in this life. Everything. What you brought me into this world for, I want it. Tell me the price to pay for it. Then I said, if I have to come to the point where the only thing I have left is a singlet, because I want to arrive, achieve, accomplish, attain what you have in mind for it, I am ready for it. That, that brutal. I came to the point where I, I made up my mind that nothing would move me. So I can step out of a crusade in London, England and just step straight into the next village in Nigeria and continue the work. All I want. Catherine Kuhlman said, It costs a lot to see the, the power of God and to see the best of God in your life. She said, I would be lying if I told you that the price is cheap. That's what she said. I would be lying if I told you that the price is cheap. Then she adds, he said, but it depends on what you want in life. <laughs> it depends on, it all depends on what you want most in life. The price will be too tough for you if you are not looking for much in life. Many of us, we desire many things. We desire a car. I want a new... Car has never been on my prayer list. If you see God asking. House has never been. Not today. Before I ever had a car, a house is not on the prayer point. Years later, when we began to pray for things, it was evangelism tools. The only thing I remember praying and demanding, the Lord, make tools available to make evangelism easy. If you can have that quest, we now confirm that if you get the wisdom, and wisdom is not complicated, it's just the mindset of God, the mind of God per issue, the counsel of God, how God will want it done. How God will want me to live my life, to, to operate my marriage, to, to work the ministry, to do the business, how God will want me done. If God were the one doing it, how will he do it? That is the wisdom. So you are so desperate. Don't go. There is a song that we sing here that God gave me. Lord, don't leave me to myself. Don't leave me to myself. Don't leave me to my own ways. 
Don't leave me to my own plan. Don't let me do what I want with my life. I want you to help me do what you want. That quest. Growing up as a young man, one of the things I feared the most was to miss God. I didn't want to miss God. I didn't want to miss it in stepping into ministry. I didn't want to miss it maritally. Do you understand? So, it was the combination of fear and desperation. That is, the fear of the consequences of missing it. He pushed somebody into desperate prayer, desperate fasting. While we were growing up, a young man who grew up with us, he stepped into a ministry somewhere here and, 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 and went to another one. And within one year, he had moved to several places. I don't know where that brother is right now. I didn't want that at all. One of our young men had to speak to about how many sisters for marriage. This one, this one, this, more than 10. And it was not one of any of them. I didn't want that kind of life. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you have that quest, that yearning, Lord, I am not looking for my own plan. I am not looking for my own ways. Wow, Gaborone Botswana. This is service number two or three. Happy to see you all in Gaborone. It's Botswana crusade two weeks ago. I hope they will show Francis town today. Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Possess that quest. Now, what is desired determines what can be delivered. What is desired determines what can be discovered. In Psalm 27 verse 4. One thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after. Not two, not three. One thing have I desired of the Lord. One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. Hosea chapter 6 and in verse 3. He said, then shall we know if we follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning and he shall come unto us as the rain, as the letter and former rain unto the earth. So that quest, that desire, that yearning, that desperation. Let me want what you want. Oh my dear Lord. No, sir. Let me, let me love. That is why you designed my life. Help me, Lord, to live how I ought to live. Take it again. Let me want what you want. Oh, my dear Lord. Let me love what you love. Let me love what you love. Oh dear Lord, that is how you desired. That is how you desired my be Lord. Help me, Lord, to live how I am. Oh Lord, take me to the place. Oh Lord, take me to the place. Where I have no will that is separate from your will. Oh Lord, take me to the place where I have no choice that is separate from your will. To be lost in your to be all for you is all I want. To be all for you is all. I realize that the real aim of pastoring 
is to transfer the principles that God taught the man unto the people being pastored. That is the essence of discipleship. The principles that God taught you, that brought you to where you are, give the principles to the people and then, and then power the principle with power, with empowerment so there can be compliance. You teach the principle, release the power so that people can do what you said. Attending a church without learning the, what, what is the Christianity of the man is a waste of going to church. I and the sons the Lord has given to me, we are for science and for so. What is flowing in the, in the father must flow in the children. What is flowing in the, in, the, in the mentor must flow in the protege. What is flowing in the shepherd must flow in the flock. I can't be passionately evangelistic and you are sleeping. We are not, it means we are not connected to the same stream. I can't be passionately desperate to know what God wants me to do with my life. And be afraid of missing him. And you are comfortable with missing him. And all pastors, all, we, 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 we must know. It's not, he said, make disciples of all nations means re, reproduce your, 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 your spiritual fruit in their lives. Make disciples. Anything I taught you, teach them. Whatever you learned, show them. Whatever brought you here, show it to them. One of these things is that dieless passion. Dieless, dieless passion. Dieless, dieless, dieless passion. Hunger that can't be conquered. One pastor said, Pastor Zenzo Matoga, he said last year, I laid hands on him. And his appetite died. Pastor from Boston, Massachusetts. They have given him a, a, a church property of five million dollars that people will pay for. He said, hunger died. So he, he thought maybe from the morning till night, he won't eat that day. He didn't eat from morning till night that day. The next day, didn't eat from morning till evening. All he wants to do is prayer. Next day, third day, fourth day. As at convention, he says it's one year now. And I told him I'm familiar with that. Because my wife and I took a journey of almost 500 days. I couldn't die. I'm, I'm familiar with that. On a normal day, food does not is not comfortable in the mouth before twelve. That's normal. Breakfast is uh, maybe one. <laughs> the others, this, these are not things of, of bragging issues. When we are going on for crusades, those who are flying with me with us, they are, their their breakfast is. Are we serving food this morning? No. No matter how hungry you are, since you are in this company right now, you are not eating. <laughs> I caught one ordering for food. I looked, looked behind, I saw him ordering for food. On the journey back, he could not order another one. He was a stranger. You, you recognize he was a stranger. <laughs> Next time when they ask him, will you have anything? Say nothing. <laughs> Praise 
the Lord. So I, I decree today, may God bring you to a point where the most consuming desire of your life is the desire for what God wants you to do. For what he has in mind for your life. Where his mindset will consume your mind. Where his thought will consume your thought. Where his desire will consume your desire. I declare it to be so in the name of Jesus. Went to my degree on Monday. Nobody could drink no water. I was say, are we serving it? I said, serve nobody, nothing. You don't need to ask anybody. Don't serve anybody anything. <laughs> don't serve anybody anything. On our way back, which was around 2 o'clock, you can serve anybody anything now. That was time for breakfast. <laughs> Hallelujah. Eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Is somebody receiving something at all? Lift your right hand and say, Father, I receive fresh fire, fresh passion, fresh hunger, fresh quest for your plan and your purpose for my life, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Take your seat now, Prince of Lord, number, number two now for this service, but it's number six overall. Go on a search for wisdom. You just, you embark on a search. The quest is there, and then you proceed on a search. In Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 13a, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 13a, he says, And I gave my heart to seek and to search out by wisdom concerning all the things that are done under the heaven. I gave my heart to seek, I gave my heart to search. Ecclesiastes 7 and in verse 25, the Bible also made it clear, Ecclesiastes 7, 25, I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. I applied, we'll, we'll stop there and then and we'll look at the second part of this passage later on. I applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom. So we search at the place of prayer we search in the spirit for wisdom and we search in the word. We'll look at that one later. But you, you go for a, a specific strategic search. What we find is a product of what we seek. In Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. He say, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. What we find is a product, is the product of what we seek. What we locate is the product of what we look out for. What we locate. Many, many years ago, when we stepped into ministry, I had a, a Volvo car. That was a Volvo we came into town with. He had five speeds. So I loved Volvo a lot at that time. I went to preach in the city of Abba about 21 years ago. And I was looking. Is there no Volvo in this town? I, could I didn't see any Volvo. Then I decided to look for it specifically. So I put my eyes on the road. One. Two. Three. Four. As tiny as that illustration is to me. He said something to me. There are things there, but until you look for them, you don't locate them. Generally in life, there is a lad here with five loaves and two fishes. And God opened the eyes of Hagan. There was a well beside her. The well had been there. The well was not positioned there because of her. It had been there. But she never saw it until her eyes opened. It is at the place of searching that eyes open. 
There are many things that your eyes will never be opened to until you deliberately proceed on a search for them. I am seeking to know the secret of your power. I did that some years ago. There were many afflicted people around and I wanted to be of help to them. I went on a seven day search of prayer and fasting. By the third day, the fourth day, the voice of the Lord came, giving me clarity on how to move with the tangibility of his power. Lord, I don't want to struggle in ministry financially, and I don't want to be a beggar. I don't want to stand on the pulpit and be raising money all the time. Give for this and give for that. And stand on television and say, oh, if you don't give us money, this broadcast is going to end. Hmm? As if you are the one who sent me. I have heard such things before on television. Give us money. Send your best gift so that this broadcast does not stop. You know what I feel like saying? Let it stop. Because I'm not the one who sent you. Talk to the one who sent you. I'm sorry. No criticisms intended. But send money in exchange for this. I don't, I don't want to function like that. So I went deliberately. How is supernatural supply workable if I am doing the work of the Lord? He gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just lined up. Just take these steps and move like this and leave the supplies to me. So today, Dunamis Television has been running for almost 15 years now. No, every program on the television is free of charge. We pay millions, tens of millions every month to let it be, be going. We have not talked about, will you give to us the television? We have not talked about nothing. It's blanketing Europe, it's blanketing Asia, blanketing North America, South America, except maybe Australia. Maybe the one from the Asia, Asia network, network is there. Are, are you following what I'm saying here today? All crusades around the world free of charge. We don't raise no offering from no crusade anywhere. And the supplies are going. Because you sat down. You say he appointed 70 also. So I realize I am on an appointment. Does United Nations appoint you and make you go and pay your fees? And pay your fares? So, it is very... You, you go on a search. What? And I, I'll come to the other one later. You go up on a search. I am searching for this. I am seeking the wisdom of God on this particular matter. I am seeking the wisdom of God on this particular issue. And that wisdom is released. That wisdom is released. That wisdom is released. One minister they got to ask us many years ago, during the construction of this sanctuary, say, how do you people get money to do things? I said, God. You know what the person said? Only. <laughs> only. That is, there must be more to... There must be more to it than saying God. No God, plus. No God plus. No. Only I was shocked. It's not the person is not a bad person, no. It's not a fraudulent person, not a crooked person. It's not even um, a diabolic anything. It's a genuine person. But that just came out. Only there should be more. There should be oil well somewhere. Or there should be something. God only. Is more than enough. You don't need more than God to get any need under heaven met. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. All that we need is to understand his wisdom, his mindset, how to go about things. How to go about things. And the results are clear. Somebody say a loud amen. Somebody say aloud, amen. amen. For a long time, 
I knew that God had diversities of graces for my life. I knew it. I knew it from growing up. My father in the Lord is quite vast. But, Lord, I, I, I need to see a, a prophet, a prophetic mentor. That is someone who's feel in the realm of the evangelistic realm. Rehard Bonke was very, very influential in my life and ministry. And so on and so forth. Of a prophetic mentor. I looked. There are, but I didn't see who that I could say, okay, this person, maybe old ones. And the Lord said to me, sit down. Let me show you some things, teach you. Easy. Clear. Clean. Straightforward. There are some commanded the day midnight prayers that we can remain here till morning, if not for time, in terms of the flow of what is coming. All we need to have our needs met is God. My God shall supply. So you embark upon a search. Embark upon a search. Go on a search for wisdom. I am searching this and searching that. And then that search will happen under a climate. Please take your seat. That will be number three. Now number six, maintain quietness. Quietness for wisdom. It's almost the same like it's the other side of Separation. Psalm 46 verse 10. He said, Be still and know that I am God. There is knowledge in stillness. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know Genesis chapter 3, verse 8a. He said, And they heard the voice of the all wise God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. The voice of wisdom can be heard in the quiet moments of the day. They heard the voice of God walking in the cool. If you can create a climate of quietness, the voice of wisdom can be heard. They heard the voice of the Lord walking in the cool of the day. Don't forget, the voice of wisdom is easily drowned in the noise of the world. The voice of wisdom is easily drowned in the noise of the world. Before God's Lamb Bishop Yedekon received marching order for ministry, God said to him, seek a quiet place. I want to talk to you. Seek a quiet place. So he went into a quiet place and received an 18 hour long vision. Myself, at times we are in the car. My wife wanted to say something. I said, Hold on, just a moment. Do you remember that? Always. How many times? Always, always, always. So many times. There are times we can see. Always. Please, just a moment. Because a flow of inspiration was coming that the communication will interrupt. I have lost some flow a couple of times. Yes, I have. We had some interrupting talk. Not bad talk, but it just came at the time when something was transmitting from heaven.
Do you value your life? Do you value your future? The Bible says, study to be quiet. Study to be quiet and do your business. You can locate that for me in, in Timothy. Study to be quiet. This generation is the great of talk, 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 chat, 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 chat. There are times when God wants to speak and phone is ringing at the same time. And the ringing of the phone interrupted the flow from heaven. People have been talking to you all your life and it didn't change much. Heaven needs to talk and change something. First Thessalonians 4, 11, and, and that you study to be quiet. Study. Study. Practice quietness. Learn what it means to be quiet so you can do, you can be engaged in the business of your life. Study. Study. Don't forget that the, the voice of wisdom can be drowned in the noise of the world. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 12. 1 Kings 19, 12. Elijah was on top of the mountain. And things were happening. He said, after. All right, start from verse 10. And he said, I have been very jealous for the Lord of hosts. For the children of Israel have forsaken thy covenant and thrown down thy altars. And slain thy prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. And he said, go forth. And stand up on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great strong wind rent the mountains. Noise. Break it in pieces. The rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in that wind. That noise. After the wind and earthquake. But the Lord was not there. What was the Lord inside? And after that, earthquake a fire. But the Lord was not even in that one yet. And after that fire, a still small voice. The Bible, another translation said, a gentle whisper of a voice. Most times, the voice of God, the voice of wisdom will come as a gentle whisper. So gentle that it is missed when attention is not paid. Please understand that inspiration requires attention. Attention, attention, attention is required for inspiration. That's the message Bible. After the earthquake, fire, but God was in the fire. And after the quiet, fire, a gentle and quiet whisper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Some, 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 some people say, supposing I... I, I, I become quiet and I don't hear anything. Just begin to flow with messages. Begin to flow with worship. Begin to flow with, 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 with instructions. Out of those instructions, an instruction will come out. Maintain quietness for wisdom. And finally, ask questions for wisdom. Ask questions. Ask questions. Jeremiah chapter 6 and in verse 16 he said Thus say the Lord, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein and ye shall find rest for your souls but he said, we will not walk Stand in the ways. Ask. When you are at the junctions of life, the best thing to do is to ask questions. Stand in the ways. I don't know which way to go. That was what happened to me. I was at a junction of my life. My life could go in three directions. In medical practice, in this and that. Lord, what do I do? I went for it three days. What is next for my life from this junction? Newly married with a, married with a, with a child. What do you have for me at this junction of my life? Stand in the ways. When you stand in the ways, don't make a move. Ask questions. When I don't know what to do and I look up to you, 
for which way to go you never fail me lord i don't know which way to go which way do i go in ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 25 look at what we read that already but the b part i applied my heart to know and to search and to seek out wisdom and the reason of things the reason of things is a question why is this so and why is that so why is this so and why is that so the reason of things the reason the reason of things the other day my father and the lord gave me an assignment about four, three three or four months ago he said can you send me a paper on reasons why revivers fail that is god was moving and he was not moving again what could be the reasons you typed it for me right how many points about 12 to 15 points studying from azusa street revival studying from all the revivers they started and this was the reason they failed this started and this ended while i was doing that assignment i was finding things out for the first time i was seeing things i never saw before I was seeing dimension of issues that are... I... God took me to the life of Joshua and the life of Elisha who did not leave any protege behind. They left a mentorless generation. So what God did with them ended with them. I was seeing things that was help, will help my own life as I was answering the question. The place of question until questions are asked, answers are never gotten. Don't be afraid. In the school of wisdom, the asking of question is a major cause. It's not an elective. If Solomon said, I found out the reason of things. Why is this like this and why is that like that? Why is this like this and why is that like that? I found out the reason for things. I found out the reason. Please sit down. And then our master Jesus, I will end there. In Luke chapter 2, verse 46. The Bible said, and it came to pass that after three days, they found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors. That is Jesus Christ, who is called the wisdom of God, both hearing them and asking questions. This was age 12. He was aggressively asking questions. Aggressively asking questions. Because wisdom is born as questions are asked wisdom is born when questions are asked the right questions and you know that answers respond to questions those who don't have who don't ask questions are not entitled to the right answers to the answers now some people say but i ask questions and i don't get answers it depends on the kind of question you ask. <laughs> there is the wrong question to ask. Let me show you the, the, an example of the wrong one. God, see everybody we came to this church together. See where they are, see where I am. Can you tell me what did I do? <laughs> that, is, that is a quarrel. That is you are quarreling with God. And the wrath of man does not provoke the righteousness of God. You cannot, ang you cannot use anger to move God into action. <laughs> First bishop. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That is the, you are asking wrong questions so he doesn't get any answer. 
right question. Lord, I am at this junction for a while now. I know there is a way out. I know there is a way to move to the next level. Lord, I'm waiting to know what to do for my next phase. You carry pen, you carry paper. You go into the Bible, you go into prayer, you go into fasting. You go into relevant materials. If the answer does not come immediately, you wait. It can come piece by piece. A little here, a little there. It is impossible for the right questions to be asked. And the God who says, stand in the ways and ask, will not answer you. Somebody here today, your answers are here. <laughs> what we call preservation service, where the first midweek service of every month, preservation is applied and communion. It's a product of questions. Lord, you have a way of preserv preserving your flock against unnecessary calamity and disasters. What steps can be taken? Even the blessing Sunday. He said the blessing is the, swag, is the cure for the curse. Many people have causes, maybe the father said negative words to them, or they are dealing with generational causes. Once a month, as the priest over their life, upon this wise shall the priest bless the people, release, pronounce blessings on them. And the priestly blessing is stronger than parental blessing. How do I say so? When Jacob cursed Reuben, Moses reversed it. Huh? His father said, let Reuben die. Moses said, let Reuben live. Am I communicating? All this came as a result of going to ask questions. We, what to do? What move to make? How to do this or do that? The right questions will always provoke the right answers. If the answer does not come immediately, mark the word. It must come eventually. Stand up on your feet. Before we started what they call the Blessing Sunday, I heard it from nobody. I've not seen it nowhere. I read it from nowhere. Co Communion of FSK Preservation Service. I heard it, read it from nobody. Hallelujah. Commanding the Demi Night Prayer was a response to a quest. When I got that direction, I was struggling because there was an early morning prayer going on. Early will I seek you. What do we do? How do we go? How do we move? What do we do? <laughs> and it was clear what to do. Because the midnight prayer covers the morning too. Midnight prayer. By midnight, you already enter the morning. By, but by 6 a.m., we are not in the midnight. And once commanded the demi night prayer, day one, day two, testimony from everywhere. We have been doing early will I seek you for months. Somebody say amen. Is there somebody blessed today? Who is the most blessed person? Who is this? Who is he that can confirm that this service is for you? If you can confirm that this service is for you, shout the loudest, amen. amen. Shout the Lord most, amen. Yes, amen. Would you lift up your hands and give the Lord a praise for what you have received? Let's lift our voice and, pray, and, 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 and voices. Let's praise him. Let's honor him. Let's adore him. Let's magnify his precious, holy, wonderful name. Father, we give you the praise. Father, we give you the honor. Father, we give you the adoration. Blessed be your name. Adoration to your name. Worship to your name. Glory to your name. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. I'd like you to pray the prayer with me very, very sharply. And say this after me and say, Father, Father I have come before you today. I've come before you we today. can go through all the points. We are in the second service, so 
we have the privilege of hearing all the points. Say after me, say, Father. Father. I recognize my need. I recognize my need for divine wisdom. For divine wisdom. I ask. I ask for wisdom, for wisdom from, you. from you. As I separate myself from time to time, time, to time I, receive your I receive your wisdom. Help my eyes to be open to see, to be open to see everything you are teaching per time. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive fresh desire. I receive fresh desire. Fresh hunger. Fresh hunger. Fresh quest. Fresh quest. Passion. Passion. For your wisdom. For your wisdom. For your counsel. For your counsel. For your way of doing things. Your way of doing things. As I am back upon the search. I, the search. I receive your help. I your help. I receive your mercy. I receive your mercy. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To maintain quietness. To maintain quietness. Deliver me. Deliver me. From a noiseful from life. A noiseful life. From a life of noise. From a life of love. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I ask I the right questions. The right question. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, for Lord. the right answers. The right answer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go on ahead, open your mouth and pray. And speak to God. in Jesus precious name in a short while I will ask the Lord for an impartation of grace Impartation of grace. Impartation of power to fulfill purpose. Lift your hands one more time and say, Father, Father I, receive I receive your grace, your, grace, your, impartation, your impartation to fulfill, fulfill your demands, your demands for, wisdom. for wisdom. I receive, I receive. Now. now. Go ahead, open your mouth and pray. in Jesus. Precious name. Lift your hands. And say, Father. Father. I receive. I receive. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Of wisdom. Of wisdom. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. To connect. To connect. With wisdom. With wisdom. Today. Shut up. Father, let something drop. Above all, any little measure of help you have given to your servant on this journey, extend it to your people. Extend it, extend it, extend it. Lord, I ask for an extension of that heart that is passionate, that is desperate, that will not rest until your heart's desire is seen that that measure of fire upon every spiritual member of this flock worldwide too restless to be resisted by the devil too passionate to be stranded let there be a drop of this passion Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Take your seat one minute. I'm going to pray that prayer. 
But I'd like you to take a look at what we do. I'd like you to show you a little of our one week schedule. Not one week yet. All right, it's one week today. Between Monday and today, what we, what, where we have been. That's apart from midweek service, apart from Tuesday, healing and deliverance service, apart from midnight prayer daily, commanding the day midnight prayer. We have been to my degree. We went on Monday. We did relief material, medical thing, paid a visit to the land. We came there straight, dedicated one of our blocks here for the Destiny Christian Academy, the primary school. We came and then midweek Tuesday service, midweek service. Crusade in Sulejah on Thursday. Friday, I had time with the Destiny Christian Academy, the children. Friday night, the crusade. Saturday night, church planting. Take a look at all. In one week, take a look at all of that. It's my degree. We are still in the same week. What's going on? Is this midweek service? Tuesday, did you not deliver us? So you really want to follow the whole week? All right now, I declare the consequences reversed. Amen. Anything that this season of unforgiveness, this season of bitterness, of hurt, deprived you from accessing God, I declare restoration right now. Amen. And one more time, bitter spirit, the spirit of bitterness, the spirit of unforgiveness, the spirit of regret and remorse, and whatever it is that, that made you feel so bad and so low, brought to some people to if the reality complex, low self-esteem, and all the accompanying forces that came with that situation, I arrest that devil. Amen. Your devil expires. Amen. Get out, get out, get out, get out! Amen, amen, amen! Get out! We pray to get an agreement for you today and break the hold of this spirit of bitterness that has ingrained itself and rooted This is the evening of the same day. Rain was falling in Suleja Crusade, and we entered the rain in worship, confronted it until it dried. It ran away, it became afraid. As we were not afraid of it, it became afraid of us. <laughs> Mind you, I could stay under the under the under the canopy under under the altar there. I could stay under the, the shade of that altar. I could there is a platform to stay under. But I went into the ring with the people. Eleven years of broken bone accident. Dancing there. Madness of 28 years. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I am free. Blindness. There were many people carrying umbrellas before. Where are they now? Hey! That was located there. Neymar. In Asuke. That was before the prayer. Kabina. Declarations. Then at the end of the day. Say I can see. Class 9. Class 9. <laughs> 
Thank you for putting the fear to shame. Who could not? Bye, bye, bye. There was welfare Thank distribution you, there too. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, because these souls are established. Amen. This Thank is prayer on this altar after the crusade when we return. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. This is yesterday night. So, catch church planting. This is one week, not one month. What you are watching is one week. I look up to the hills from where is coming my help. My help coming from the Lord. And where you look determines what happens to your life. When you look down, you go down. When you look behind, you remain behind. When you look around, you hang around. When you look on the road, when you look forward, you go forward. How many people are going forward here tonight? How many people are going forward here tonight? How many people are going up tonight? Also, welfare distribution. The central dedication and children in partition. The program you just watched now was for how many how many months? How many months? Seven days. I must walk the walk of him that sent me while it is day. But what is critical is six days technically. I want six days. I want all of us to be in this together. You may not go physically, but go in prayers, go in resources. Go in your neighborhood, office colleague, former classmate, neighbor, neighbor in the same company. I would like you to go with me to our church today. I want to connect you to the commanding day midnight prayer. We have a worship and wonders night coming this Friday, and this Friday as well is the birthday of our Father in the Lord, Bishop David Oyedepo. 70th birthday anniversary. We believe that we will we'll, we'll connect with the grace and the mantle on that day by the message of God. I won't promise you that I'll ask him to pray for the, for the day, but if it happens, you will know. Hallelujah. And um, invite your friends. We're in the month of wisdom. Wisdom makes people to reign. Anywhere God has made a throne for you, you will get to that throne. The handbills are available. Buses will be available from all over the city. All FCT locations be here in person. Newcomers can fill in the locations everywhere. And we trust the Lord to give us an impartation of wisdom. And our lives will never remain the same. Somebody who has been blessed, say aloud, amen. And of course, coming Sunday's testimony and Thanksgiving service. For those watching from America, we are in Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, in October, we are also, that is with Jonathan Shuttles, what? In Footwood Hill and Deliver and River Back Crusade. Um, we're also in um, Florida, Miami, Florida, with um, Apostle Maldonado, Doug Heward Mills, 
in a, an international minister's conference. And um, it's going to be a most explosive time. Those of you who are in that area and that region, endeavor to be there. It's going to be a most impactful, impactful, I believe about a hundred and something nations are represented in that conference. It's going to be very, very impactful. The Lord bless you. And then, of course, Malawi and Tanzania crusade in the month of October. The earth is being filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Somebody say a loud amen. Stretch your two hands in front of you. I pray upon your hands. I'm going to ask for an impartation of God's grace upon somebody here this morning. I pray upon your hands. I ask that the harvest will look for you from the north, the south, the east, and the west. What is yours? No devil shall hold back. Systems are put under pressure to lose their peace and sleep and rest until what is yours enters. I declare it done in Jesus' name. While this is happening, anyone in this as audience this morning in need of surrender to Jesus, you need your sins forgiven, you need Jesus in your life, the highest you can give and the best you can give now is your life. God wants your life first, not just your money, not your money, your life first. So anywhere you are, you pray the prayer after me and say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward ever, backward never. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. I forgot to mention the name of the host of the second conference. That is Apostle Maldonado. Guillermo Maldonado. He is, um, by God's grace, more like the pastor of the Spanish world in terms of church, in terms of miracles, in terms of crusades. He's hosting that program in Florida. Hallelujah. Those who pray this prayer today, you, you are giving your life to Christ. You want to make your ways right with Jesus. And you just pray with me, even if you didn't pray, but you are doing that. Pick your Bibles and your bags and come forward quickly. Ray. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. I give you the count of 20. Those giving your life to Christ are welcome. Give him your life. Quickly come forward. I give you the count of 20. One. He's waiting for you. Give him your life. Give him your life. Give him your life. He's waiting for you. Give him your life. Why don't you give him your life? Give him your life. He's waiting Again, rush, rush forward. You are bound by an addiction. A tobacco addiction. Marijuana addiction. Alcoholic addiction. Prostitution addiction. Gambling. A fraudulent lifestyle. Stealing, cheating, duping. Unforgiveness, bitterness. Whatever is the lifestyle that, you, that, that has tied you down, you want to hand over your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate yourself to Jesus, quickly come forward. Again, I give you... Thank you so much for listening to the end. I pray that whatever that you have listened to today, you are not going just to keep it, but you are going to do what God has told you through this message. And please, kindly, if you are new here or... You are not, so, I mean, you have not subscribed. Kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this, my channel. And also you can share this video with someone else. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.